My name is Katrina. I was one of the people who was attacked by rioters at UC Berkeley, a group of people who went to see a gay man give a speech, uh, and we were viciously assaulted by protesters, by several groups, some of them anarchists, extreme left, uh, whatever you want to call them. And uh, while we've had uh, predictably not a ton of attention from the media, when the events covered, the focus tends to be on property damage. Uh, one member of our group went out of her way to do a number of interviews, none of them aired. All of this is very predictable. Um, so of course the only thing that there really is for us to do is put our message out there, um, try and tell people what happened. Um, to that effect, I went on Stefan Molyneux's show. Um, I highly recommend subscribing to his channel if you haven't already. It's enormous, so you probably have. Um, but I'll link to the interview that I did with him below if you're interested in finding out uh, about what happened. Um, but today, what I wanted to talk about was just a little bit of commentary um, about the event, what I experienced there, and in particular this term, uh, peaceful protest, that I see being thrown around a lot and being applied to a portion of the people who were present at the protest at Cal that turned into a riot. Um, so in order to talk about this, I wanted to give a couple of examples. So let's say you go to the park. You go to Dolores Park here in San Francisco with a friend, with some friends, and you're sitting there and you're having a picnic, it's a nice day, and you look over and you see there is a trash can on fire. There's a raging fire in the middle of the park. Trash can's not supposed to be on fire, it's dangerous. What would you do? You might call 911, you might call the fire department, you might try to put the fire out, uh, you might run away, you might try and evacuate other people, uh, you might do things to try and keep the fire from spreading. These would be things that a normal person might do. Uh, a sane person, a person who has sort of basic understanding of threats and a concern for the safety of himself and the people around him. Um, so let's say you're at the mall. Uh, you're in line, you're waiting to get a pretzel at Auntie Annie's, and you look behind you, and standing behind you, there's someone dressed head to toe in black and carrying a banner with a stake sharpened to a point at the bottom and a baseball bat. And their face is covered, and they're hooded, and they're just standing there in line behind you. What would you do? A rational person, again, might call 911, might call the police, might get the hell out of there, might try and warn other people to get the hell out of there. And then let's say you look around and you see that half the people at this mall are similarly dressed and similarly carrying weapons and banners. You would probably run for the exits if you were a sane person. What you wouldn't do is turn back to the line and just continue to wait and get your cinnamon pretzel and eat it like everything going on around you is none of your business. Uh, so I bring up this comparison because this is what the so-called peaceful protesters who were present at Berkeley essentially did. Um, I hear there was a group that was doing like a dance-off. Um, I think it's you know, that in and of itself would be a perfectly valid form of protest. Uh, you know, nothing wrong with that, assuming you get permission to use the space and all of the usual, you know, caveats that apply. That's a nonviolent thing to do, um, as long as you have a, you're in a space that you have a right to, uh, which it seems like they did. Uh, but this dance off seems to have taken place, and, and you know, other portions of the protests that were, that are being described as peaceful, took place next to a raging fire that was set before it was even dark, I mean, 5.30, something like that. Um, that's not any different than being at the park and seeing a trash can on fire and doing nothing about it and just going about your business, continuing to have your picnic. First of all, that's crazy for yourself, for your own safety. If you're standing there and you're seeing the stuff going on around you and you're not freaked out, what does that tell you about those people, about the peaceful protesters, right? It tells them that they knew those people weren't there for them. 
It tells you that they weren't scared of an obviously scary situation because they knew it wasn't targeted at them. And that is what I find so offensive about this idea that there was somehow a peaceful protest going on right next to a riot with people the entire time, the entire time this was going on, there were people in the crowd dressed all in black carrying these weapons. We saw all kinds of weapons. We saw bats and blackjacks and shovels and banners and sharpened sticks and poles. And uh, one guy had a knife um, that luckily wasn't pulled on anyone as far as I can tell. Um, and, you know, people want to say people who are just there, uh, people who are there protesting and not, and, you know, cl claiming that their hands are clean, that they, because they didn't participate in the violence, because they didn't personally pepper spray me or bash me on the head, um, uh, because they didn't personally destroy property, because they didn't set the fire that they were standing next to, that they were dancing next to, that they, you know, continued to protest next to while it raged. Um, they think that their hands are clean. And um, if you're one of those people, I, I'm i probably not talking to you, honestly. You, you might be too far gone. Um, but on the off chance that you're not, or if you're someone else watching this and you know, you're know you kind of buying into the peaceful protester narrative and you're wondering how things got so out of hand, this is how things got so out of hand. They got so out of hand because the person standing in line at the mall who saw the obvious terrorists behind them didn't say anything about it and didn't care about it because they weren't there for them. And that shows a deep lack of basic human decency, basic humanity even, that I really think is the big issue here. Uh, so that's what I had to say about that. I hope you guys find it interesting. Um, feel free to give me your comments and we're certainly looking for any other people who are present at the event, who have footage of the event. So if you find any of that, um, please get in touch with me. I would love to see it. Thank you.